Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and today I've got the newest version of the BPS 100 Extreme Pro Series Backpack Blower Rack. This is the uh, version 3. As you guys know I've already got the uh, I believe it's the first version, it might be the second, I'm not sure which one I have, I just know it's the BPS 100. Um, and I took the, the two that I had out of my enclosed trailer and moved them to my open trailer for leaf cleanup. And so I went ahead and purchased two new ones uh, to put back in the enclosed trailer. And to be perfectly honest, I would have bought the same version that I already had, but they're no longer selling that. So I guess I get to upgrade to the newest version. So. Uh, let's unbox this dude and see what it looks like. I'm kind of excited. I know it's got some new features. Um, there's a lot of rubber coated parts. There's a, a mat, a non-skid rubber mat that goes in the bottom. Well, actually, right here it shows you the newest features. Um, it's got a spring-loaded latch now. The actuator is what it's called, but uh, when you open and close the rack, that... Uh, that is now spring-loaded, which I do like. Uh, my old, my old ones—they're not spring-loaded, and so you do have to manually uh, open and close them and make sure that uh, that it is closed tight. With these, they're supposed to uh, close automatically, I guess. So we'll take a look at that. Um, it's got a vinyl-coated securing bar, the rubber mat for the bottom, uh, stainless steel lock. So some cool things going on. Um, just looking at the picture, the rack itself doesn't look like it's changed a whole lot, other than just uh, they've made some improvements. So let's uh, let's jump right in the box, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of take you guys through the unboxing, so you can see how it's packaged and uh, know what to expect if you order these for yourself. Okay, so I cut the box open. So I haven't taken anything out yet. You guys are. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing, so okay, so that's packaged nice. So here's the rubber mat, looks like that's a nice, thick, probably quarter inch thick rubber pad, and then it's got adhesive strips on this side. So I guess when you get it in place, you can uh, actually keep it from moving around. It's a good idea. So I'm gonna set that aside. So, then we've got the base of the unit, and that would be the, the top part that closes. So let me pull the base out. It might be kind of hard to do one-handed, some of this, but... Oh. Yeah, that's cool. It's got the uh, version 3 cut out there. I like that. Other than that, uh, it looks, looks just like my... My BPS 100, so other than the, the version 3 cutout, which is pretty cool. Okay, now I see there's, it looks like that's probably the, the narrower top bar, and then there's the, the wider one. Excuse me, I'm kind of runny nose this morning, guys. Our weather keeps changing like crazy and it's messing with my sinuses but okay yeah so that's the bigger bar and we'll get it unwrapped here but it looks like it looks like it's vinyl coated from where that plastic wrap is all the way back to this side you can see right there so the whole front of this bar the whole front even the uh, even that brace that goes across the top, it's all rubber coated. Um, I can say that on my blowers I have noticed where this bar makes contact with the air filter on top of my Husqvarna's. Um, they have gotten scuffed up a little bit, which, you know, I'm not, not concerned about. It doesn't hurt the function, but um, that rubber coating will actually help prevent that. So, so that's the bigger top bar. And what is this? Okay, some nice uh, bright color print installation instructions. 
that's a big step up from from the previous version. Um, the previous version that I had or have, the instructions were in black and white, and they weren't they weren't super clear. So this is pretty nice. I like that. They put a little bit of put a little bit of an investment into their instructions, so that's that's a good thing. All right, now put this put this block out in the middle. I'm sorry if this is is too close, guys. I'm just it's easier to do this kind of stuff holding the camera than it is to try to set up a tripod and, and still be able to see what you're doing. So just bear with me. Okay, so. Okay, so that's all one unit right there. That's the uh, the short top bar and the back piece. So let's get the rest of this foam out to get it out. I do kind of wish they'd get away from these foam blocks. These things are a mess. Get that that white foam all over everything when you're doing this. But. Okay, so that's all wrapped in plastic, which. Probably a good idea to keep some of that foam junk off of it. So bring it out here and set it down. Okay. All right, so again, notice that this top bar is all rubber coated. I like that. The handle is rubber coated, which uh, on mine, my other ones that are not rubber coated, it's just the bare aluminum. So. It's not bad. Um, I can see the spring right there for the lock, so they've got it. They've got it locked in place. So I'll have to wait until I get the key out of the right here. By the way, that's your. It's all zip tied, but your keys, all of your mounting hardware, your tube bracket for your blower. So all that's zip tied in. So I'll have to unlock it, but uh, but I do see the spring-loaded actuator right there, which is nice. Um, kind of curious to see how that's going to work. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, go ahead and put this together. If you've watched my other video, same thing. You've got these four bolt holes right here, and basically you just bolt the uh, the base piece to the back to this piece. So you've just got the two pieces. Um, you bolt them together and it, it's adjustable in height so I'll have to figure out the height and all that get it adjusted and bolted together and I'll have to put the bigger um, piece on top because my blowers stick out pretty far with that uh, air filter on top so they need that wider top bracket so I'll get all that changed out get it set up and then uh, we'll look it over a little better hey guys so I'm removing this top bar well I have just removed it um, so I wanted to show you how that works so you have two set screws one here and one here and you have to open up the, the top bar so as you can see you have to open up the top bar to get to those screws so when it's closed you can't get to the screws so that someone couldn't come along take the screws out pull the pull the blower out it just makes sense so after you take these two little allen screws out with the allen wrench provided then you pull these two pins out of both sides okay, and that's basically your hinge pin and what the allen screw does is it sits down in that shoulder or that cutout in the pin and that's what keeps the pins from being able to pull out so um, that's how you take it out to change it and uh, I'm going to try to hold the camera with one hand and put the new one in so and I'm going to both of these pins are the same so So that pin's in, this pin will go in, if I can find the hole. Now it's, it's in place, as you can see, and all I've got to do now is put my set screws back in here, tighten them up, and it's done. And then that's how you change out the, uh, the top piece. All right, I've got it all set up and uh, bolted together for one of my blowers. Um, I went ahead and put 
the rubber pad in the bottom, those red pieces of plastic are the uh, piece that you peel off of the adhesive strip. I went ahead and put mine in because I'm going to wall mount this. If you were going to be using the base plate to mount this to a open trailer, uh, you wouldn't want to put that mat in until you were done with that. So I've got that in. Um, again, I've got the my four bolts in, so it's all adjusted to the right height. And then here's the, uh, the spring actuator. I really like that. So when you open and close this, it always springs back to the closed position. So that's very nice. Um, I'll show you where I've got my my bolts. So it's the third hole down from the bottom. Four, sorry, third hole down from the top. Fourth hole up from the bottom, and that's uh, that's the proper placement, I guess you'd say, for a uh, Husqvarna 570. That's the blower that I've got this one set up for. So uh, then, of course, on the back side, it's it's the same holes, no matter what setting. The only thing that changes is the base plate moving up and down, but the top plate just has the four holes. And uh, it's really nice hardware, um, good, good strong hardware that comes with this. And just for reference, the uh, those lock nuts are uh, five eighths inch. So um, when you go to put this together, that's one of the tools you'll need. <clears throat> so for you guys that haven't watched my other video on the installation of these backpack blower racks, I'll show you real quick how I'm mounting them up. So for one. This pencil line is the stud. That's the metal uh, square tube stud that's in the wall. So what I have is a self-tapping screw and fender washer here. And another one, can't really see it, but in there. That's how I have these mounted up. Now, I mounted this exactly the same way my other ones were mounted. I ran it for the entire season, and it worked great. Never had any issues, never came loose. Um, nice and solid. So, this is the actual self-tapping screw and fender washer that I'm using. So these are quarter inch by inch and a quarter self-tapping hex head screws, 3 8 inch hex head, and a one inch fender washer with a quarter inch hole. Just to kind of... So there it is all in place. Um, I'll show you what I do on my tubes. Since I, might, since I mount these high on the wall, I can't point the tube up, which is what a lot of guys do. They'll uh, point them up. So what I do is uh, I point them down. As you can see, I just run the tube straight out, down. And then I've got the tube keepers down here, and because of the way, because of the, way the tube is facing, it actually holds itself right there. So you notice I've got the cable, the lock in place. I don't even I don't even use that. I don't take it out or put it in or anything. I just literally let that sit right there, and uh, it it's always stayed in place. I've never had them move. Of course, the unit itself is all locked in, nice and solid. You know you can't hardly uh, can't hardly even move it. And another thing I just noticed was uh, so with this rubber pad. It raises the unit up about a quarter of an inch from where it was previously. And it's just high enough to catch the lip on the air filter, which actually makes it a little bit more secure. And uh, so it's actually catching this right here instead of this part here. You can actually see those markings where the where it was rubbing on that previously, like I said, kind of scuffing it up. So now it's going to sit right on the front of this and it's rubber coated. So that will actually be a uh, much better, much better setup, I think. Be less wear and tear on the equipment from transport, which is always a good thing. So anyway, uh, that's the 570. And I've got one more to put together. Um, for the 580 and it's going to go right here where the uh, other one was at previously 
and be the same exact process, guys. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna video that whole that whole thing. Um, the only difference will be that the 580 is just a little bit taller, so I'll probably have to go to the next um, next set of bolt holes on the back plate. Um, other than that, that's it. That's the version three, the BPS 100 version three Extreme Pro series. Uh, really like these things. As you can see, I've got the uh, handheld blower keeper right there. I've got two for the chainsaws. I've got one for the hedge trimmer. And then I've got the three position, I'm sorry, four position uh, weed eater rack. I actually keep two, two weed eaters, um, an edger, and a combi tool all in that, uh, all in that rack. And guys, I'm absolutely thrilled with the functionality of these. Um, been using them for an entire season now. Really like them, no complaints. Um, the only thing that I did early on was I went ahead and uh, bought a new set of locks so that I could have all of these all of these locks keyed the same. And I have some of those locks left over, so I'll be able to change out the locks on these two blower racks and still have the same key for all of my racks, um, which will make four total blower racks, uh, four of the, the small handheld equipment racks, and then that four position trimmer rack. So, you know, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of pieces of equipment with just one key and I like that I don't it's just a lot less fuss you know so anyway um, that's it for right now guys as always thanks for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one